hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET how to find the records between the two given dates starting date and ending date using link to SQL class let's select the date from the EMP table in this EMP table the joining date just for the easy understanding purpose I am adding only the Charan joining date Let's copy this one. Copy. I'm pasting here, and the two date also I'm pasting the same date, the from date. We don't require this time span. Delete that one. Let's search the record. Search, and here we got the results in a grid view control. The selected date range from and to date. We got the result Charan let's add 2017 copy the from date is now this time i'm selecting the date range from 2017 to 2018 5:30. let's search the records and here we got the results in a grid view control from the selected date range that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET using link to SQL to find the records, first we'll check the table and the column names. The EMP table contains five columns EMP ID, EMP name, designation, department, and joining date. Now my aim is using link to SQL, I want to find the records between the two given dates. So let's write the coding part. So let's open Visual Studio. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET project. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Records Between Dates. link to SQL is a project name click OK and from the templates I'm selecting empty click OK and the project is created successfully let's open solution explorer now in this project I am adding a new web form page right click the project name click add web form I'm not changing the item name click OK and here we got the source page of the newly created web form 1.aspx page now between form and do tag I'm adding center tag h1 such records between two given dates using link to SQL ASP.NET tutorials after header tags I am adding horizontal line after the horizontal line I am adding two text box control one from the starting date and the second text box control for the end date after that I am adding one button control and one grid view control to display the records between the selected date range let's add the controls open toolbox from the standard folder I'm adding a text box control text box let's add uh, from it's a from date I'm changing the ID to text from to date second text box control let's change the idea of the text box control text to after that break I'm adding 
I'm adding a button control open toolbox and the same standard folder there is a button control I'm adding that one and the button property text I'm changing to such horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding one grid view control to display the records between this selected date range open toolbox again minimize the standard folder and expand the data folder in this data folder we have a grid view control let's add that control that's it up to now we have just finished the designing part now the next part is in the server explorer let's add our database name I click the data connections add connection in the server name I am adding my SQL server after adding SQL server name I am selecting the database name my database name is a sample DB test connection is succeeded ok ok and notice here we got the sample db that dbo is added after adding the database and the data connections the next step open solution explorer again right click that project name add I'm adding link to SQL classes click that one I'm not changing the item name click OK And here we have the data classes one dot dbml. Let's add the table here. Open Server Explorer. Expand the sample db dot dbo. Here you can find the database objects. I'm expanding the tables folder. The table name is the EMP table. Just drag and drop on this dbml. After that. So after adding the EMP table object into this dbml now the leftover is the coding part switch to the web form onexpx page design mode double click the button control and here we got the button click event now in this button click event the first time adding the data context this one data classes one dot data context data class one data context dc is equals to new data class one data context after that after creating the object of the data context class I'm adding the date time from date is equals to the from date we are getting from the text box control so text from dot text again another date time this time I'm adding to date text to dot text notice we got a small error let's convert this type string to date time convert dot to date time and this one also let's convert convert dot to date time after that variable result is equals to here I'm writing the link query from x in dc dot data context object dot our table name is an emp table subject where x dot I'm adding the column name joining date is greater than equals to the joining date the date we are getting from this from date object so let's add that from date ampersand double ampersand is the end x dot joining date is less than equals to to date let's add the to date to date select x semicolon 
is once this link query is executed i want to display those selected date range records in a grid view control grid view one dot data source i'm adding this variable result let's bind the data grid view control that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results on the browser google chrome let's select the date from the emp table in this emp table the joining date just for the easy understanding purpose i'm adding only the current joining date let's copy this one copy i'm pasting here and the two date also i'm pasting the same date the from date we don't require this time span delete that one let's search the record search and here we got the results in a grid view control the selected date range from and to date we got the result charan let's add 2017 copy the from date is now this time i'm selecting the date range from 2017 to 2018 fire today let's search the records and here we got the results in a grid view control from the selected date range that's it